Praise Yahweh. Uh, my name is Sister Risa Hurley. Uh, I'm a member of the Infallible True Church of Yeshua the Messiah. I um, want to thank Yahweh for all the bishops, for all the saints, um, for the word that goes forth. I want to really thank Yahweh for bringing me into the truth. Um, I was actually um, came into the church when I was 15 years old. Now, before that, um, there was a, a calling and some events that happened to make me come from another state. I'm from Illinois. So my mom was struggling, couldn't uh, find a good job. So she decided to uh, move to Texas and leave us there for a year. And then she came down here to get us to get a job and get settled and all of that so that she could bring us. And then a year later, she brought us here. Now, what made her um, decide to move to Texas, it was Yahweh. Because I came to um, Texas and I was a rebellious teenager. Um, I was rebellious, but I always knew that there was a, uh, a purpose for my life. I wasn't sure what it was and I was young, but I was already questioning because I had seen a lot of um, been around a lot of drug abuse and alcohol, uh, alcoholics, drunkenness, um, a lifestyle that I didn't want, but I wasn't sure like how to not continue in that when that's all I've seen all my life. So then I came to Texas, um, which my uncle, um, David Turner and my aunt Susan Turner, they, um, came to the church first and they heard the gospel uh, I would go over to their house quite a bit because I was rebellious and my mom kicked me out a lot <laughs> and because I wouldn't obey the rules. I was 14 at the time and so I would go over there and so uh, one day just I didn't know who he was. I knew there was a man in their living room and I was walking around still um, with my own ways and I heard some things I had never heard before. I'd never heard anybody speak um, straight from the Bible and have a life that backed it up. So when I, I ended up sitting down, and this is a wild teenager who was running around, partying, coming home late at night, um, but I heard something. And it just made me come into the kitchen or into the living room and sit down and listen. And he spoke directly to me. And he told me my life. He told me what I was doing, what my heart um, was searching for, and I'd seen that it was Yahweh. And so I was like, well, maybe I'll give this a chance. So um, I listened, but I still didn't want to give up my ways. I wasn't sure about it. So what happened then is I still continued in what I was going to do and um, my uncle tried to get me to come to church, and at the time I wasn't wanting sure if I wanted to, and then my mom wouldn't let me. So I decided to, so I was acting rebellious, and I don't remember the cause. I just know that I disobeyed, and I was running the streets. So my mom put all my stuff out, <laughs> and I did not have nowhere to go. So, of course, I called my uncle, David Turner. They came and got me. Um, then I came to church and I visited and I remember I was there for three days before I decided, okay, I'm going to get baptized. This is what Yahweh has. Cause I remember sitting on my bed before this and saying to myself, what in life, what is there for me to do? Just this, just go do my own thing, go run around the streets, do what I want to do. I didn't feel like that was what I was supposed to be doing. So I, um, and I'm coming to church, hearing the gospel, and I remember Mother Effie Anderson, she uh, came to me and she asked me, talked to me about baptized, being baptized, and showed me where it says to be baptized. So I had never had um, people that cared so much about my soul. Uh, I had people that showed that they, that said that they cared and tried to work hard and do what they could, but I had never had anybody that took the time out for my soul that wanted to show me the truth. So uh, I ended up deciding, okay, I'm gonna get baptized and do this. 
And I'm very thankful for Apostle Washington and all the bishops, all every single one of them. Um, a lot of them were young in this way also, but they were uh, a stepping stone for me and they helped me out a lot. Um, I was able to um, wait on Yahweh to bless me with the Lord, my husband, waiting on Yahweh. And then he blessed us with three beautiful children. Now mindful that I came from a house of abuse and drug and drugs and all of that. So I had a lot to learn on how to be a wife and be a mother. Uh, I'm very uh, raised very controlling because I was told never to um, submit yourself. But when we're under Yahweh's will, his calling is for us to submit ourselves to him. And when we do it to our lords, our husband is like unto him. So this is what I'm getting the teaching in this place, like no other place um, I have ever seen in my life. And in this place, I've seen marriages just blossom. Kids grow up in Yahweh and serve Yahweh and get a family of their own. Um, just seeing all of this. And then knowing that I could do this too. So I'm very thankful for the word that's been patient and teaching and guiding us and showing us and warning us and helping us. And all the examples that we have um, today, I can say that my marriage is so blessed. My children are blessed. I have two the, um, sons that are married now. I have a daughter that's growing up in this way. Um, they don't doubt about this way. They know that it's the truth. They want to serve Yahweh for themselves. Um, my sons are uh, loving their wives and following in their dad's footsteps and about to have a grandson that uh, my oldest son is having. So I just want you to see all these miracles and how it's possible to serve Yahweh, to have peace of mind, to do what is right to do in this evil generation, um, to stand up for the truth no matter what people throw at you, no matter what happens in your life. You can be happy and have peace of mind. And I just want to thank Yahweh for all the bishops, all the women supervisors, all the saints that we have. Um, even in this time, we are able to encourage one another and love each other. And just please uh, know that um, the infallible true church of Yahshua the Messiah is a place that you can come for refuge and for help. And um, thank Yahweh, and please pray for the Hurley family. This is Sister Risa, Yahweh bless. Peace be.